Hello everybody. So today I am gonna be showing you another torchless 3x3 design. Uh in my last one it had a few problems. Uh my last one is the same size as this, except um it wouldn't work in bucket. Uh and also it required a repeater input. So if you wanted to have an input, it'd be something like that. Um, but in this new one, you can just go like this. So, before I get started with the tutorial, I'm gonna show you the door in action, of course. So it is very in sync, and it is, well, it's quite fast. And it also works in all orientations. Now I'll go over all of the circuits first and then we'll get started. So we have the red, which is the input, the green, which is the closing circuit, which is um, these two blocks. And then we oh and it's also the first uh, the first uh, block retraction. So once you turn it off, it'll look something like this. And then we have a falling edge monostable over here, uh, which goes right into the double piston extender over here. And that will um, retract this block back down to there. And then we just needed um, some side and top piston controls, like so. And that is how it works. So. Let's get started. I'm just going to take the input out of this. Alright. So you take your um, input block and then we are going to create a dual edge monostable. Uh, we only really need need it for the rising edge, but um, when we do it like this, it it creates um, a one tick pulse. So if we have a piston here, it creates a one tick pulse, and as you can see, um, that won't work because it's a falling edge, and neither will this because it doesn't spit the block out. So that's why it must be um, must be done like this. Then we need um, two blocks like that, a repeater going into this block, and that's going to be set to two. And we have dust here, uh, sticky piston there, and then we can put in one of the door blocks. All right. Now you need one dust here, and a block like that, two pistons, and we can place another one of the door blocks. Okay, and now we need two repeaters, just like this. And what these two, will, these two repeaters will do is it will keep this powered. So if we didn't have these, and we... Okay, I'm just gonna bring this back to how it was before. And we just flip the switch. Uh, it just does that, and it doesn't exactly close. So we need it to um, stay powered. I should have probably reset that before I unflipped it, but... Um, so we need it to constantly send power in. Um, and this is your closing circuit, and also your first block retraction, just like that. Now we can hook up the falling edge. So we need um, a two tick repeater going into a piston like this. And then we need 
three ticks there, and one tick, I mean, one dust there, block, and dust there. So this is your falling edge. And if I unflip this, you'll see this pulse. Just like that. And we now need to attach a double extender. And the only real way you can um, make this top block extend in a torchless design is if you have a dust going into this block. Because if, if you want to send power into here any other way, it would have to be... No, wait, what am I going on about? Uh, you, could, you could, of course, do something like this, um, but that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and the only real other way of doing anything is to put a torch here, but it wouldn't be torchless. Okay, uh, so once we place one repeater here, um, this is the double piston extension. And also um, one of the pistons retracting. But now we need to send one more pulse over here to make this piston uh, reach out and grab this block and pull it back in. And we can do this very simply by putting two repeaters like this. The first one will be on two ticks and the second one will be on four ticks. Or actually, you could do it like this. Which probably makes it faster. So, yeah, you should do it like this. And now, we are done with all of the main part of the 3i3, which is these two blocks. And the only thing we need to finish now is um, the side and top piston controls. And I will do this in orange wool. So, you'll need one piston here and sand. About free sand, I think. Yep, free sand. Okay, and then you need a torch here. Well, uh, like I said before, it is um, torchless, but. Uh, what I mean by that is it has no torch inversions, so this torch will never be inverted like that, which is usually what bugs things out. Uh, but if you really want to go for um, an absolutely torchless VR3, um, place a switch here. But of course, this means that if you are playing in um, SMP, people can just go up and unflip that, and the side and top would stop working. And that is not what you want. So I would recommend placing a torch here. It won't really, um, won't. That that's just the best way of doing it. Now, place three pistons, and we are gonna bring this signal down. And to make this uh, piston update. So if we just do it, if we just um, do that now, you can see that this piston doesn't extend uh, because it's powered diagonally, which means it can actually, it is actually receiving power, but before it actually um, moves, it needs to receive an update like so. And the way we can, one way which we can do this, which is what I think is the best way, um, is to place one power rail just like so. Now I know you can place um, redstone lamps like so, but if you watch closely you can see that redstone lamps actually have a delay when turning off, so this piston will actually take longer to um, retract than this, this piston above it. So watch closely. There. Uh, so there was a very slight um, delay, but um, if you want it to be completely in sync, you should just put a power rail there. And now you need a piston over here. And then just place 
dust going along here. And again, we are going to bring the signal down here, uh, but I'll displace the pistons first. So, uh, there. And then once again, you have to take a power rail, just like so. And now, place two dust there, uh, one block there, and a block there and there, and dust. And this is it. That's the whole door. So I'm just gonna test it out. And there it works. Works very well. And of course, uh, you can place all of your um, all the remaining door frame. I will do it in gloss. And there you go. Perfect. Oh yeah. Uh, and also, um, this door works completely in. It's uh, bucket friendly. Oops. Uh, so if you build it on a server or something, it'll work just fine. And I guess that's it. Oh yeah, and 1.4.2 just came out. So you can see that I am playing in 1.4.2. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what some of the new features are. I mean, seeing how some of the new features can help with redstoning. Now, the new wooden buttons uh, have come out, and they can actually be used as arrow detectors, so that's really cool. I've actually made um, an arrow detector design using them, which automatically resets, and I will have that video up. A, tu a tutorial for it um, will be up soon. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. So see you next time. Bye-bye.